trust you're having an amazing uh, thank you for staying with us here on flu 94.9 fm the flu of god's own state my name is wisdom thomas uh, it is of course another edition of ben carlos mandate it's a weekly program of the member representing ben the federal constituency where he gets to interface with the good people of abbey state but more especially the good people of ben the constituency ben carlos mandate airs here on flu 94.9 fm as well as another other other digital platforms uh ben carlos mandate seeks to digitally domicile the activities of the honorable member at the lower chamber and that of the parliament at your doorstep uh, this, mon- this morning it's another special edition of ben carlos mandate remember we we'll continue to test his words and impact through the fires to ascertain if truly he has had a desired impact amongst the people of bender constituency on this special edition we have picked at random youths from Bender constituency who of course have been represented by the representative uh, Benjamin Okezie Kalu, a member of the House of Representatives and the 9th Nigerian National Assembly representing Bender Federal Constituency Abia State. Uh, to speak to us this morning, uh, he's currently the spokesperson of the House of Representatives and the Chapman House Committee in Media and Public Affairs. And like I told you, it's another special edition. They are very much in the studio to talk to us this morning uh, to find out if actually the impact that we've speaking uh, we've spoken to him countless times and he has told us look at what he has been doing over time however it's good we hear from other uh, people themselves who has sent him to have Dennis Egu uh, in the studio with me this morning good morning to you Dennis good morning and of course I have uh, Ihono Chukwemeka very much in the studio. Uh, Ihono, good morning. Yeah, good morning. There is equally Frank Ebuchulam joining us virtually. Good morning to you, uh, Frank. Good morning, house. Thank you very much. Of course, Abians are listening at this very point. Let's uh, start to meet each of you. Um, know your name, apart from the one I have said already. Where are you coming from on the Bender uh, Federal Constituency? I'll start with you, uh, Dennis, because you arrived first. Early bed. Good morning. My name is Dennis Egu, and I come from Item in Bender Local Government of Abia State. You're coming from uh, Item? Yes. Okay. How about you, Ihono? Do you I prefer call you Chukwemeka? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. My name is uh, Ihono Chukwemeka. I come from Itumbuzo Ward in Bende, local government area of other states. Amazing. How about you, Frank? Where are you stemming from in Bende, federal constituency? Thank you so much. I'm f- from Umimini Ward. In Ben, the federal constituency. Good to hear from you and good to have you all in the studio and you joining us virtually. Let us get into the swing of things. I'm sure, gentlemen, you understand the reason you are very much here in the studio. We want to test through the fire the activities, what he has done in the last couple of years as the member representing uh, Ben, the federal constituency, where you are fortunate to be part of or unfortunate. I don't know. It's going to be down to what you say this morning that would best describe that. So let's get to the swing of things already uh, what, what, what was the feeling like uh, around your areas when he emerged as the representative of your uh, region then the federal constituency giving past representations i'll start with you as well thank you very much i'll use the word um, fresh breath by fresh breath i mean nothing have been done like immediately after the election but you see there's a difference like there is joy after two of years there is a new person that was one on the other hand you watched him on the very first day on the floor he opened the floor of the house we were rejoicing at home nothing was done yet so this is if you're asking me the feeling like immediately after the election yeah i would just say fresh breath just that fresh breath how about you chukwemeka he said even before things started unraveling there was this joy was it the same feeling around your own place when he emerged yes um, it was that phrase breath that I, that I spoke about that uh, i talked about uh, that almost every part of ben the federal constituency is feeling 
uh, you know immediately when uh, Representative Mikalo emerged as the uh, as our as, as the act of uh, representative uh, uh, member of Ben the federal constituency, you know the, the joy the day that he even won the election, the joy everybody was just rejoicing and uh, what was the joy all about? I mean, you know um, we had a member there who represented us for all over, for over twelve years and uh, we, we don't have much impact that uh, you know gave us joy when uh, the person was there. So when immediately he won the election, I mean Benjamin uh, Benjamin Carlo during that 2019 uh, election, everybody was very very happy. Bende was very very happy. Ben the federal constituency was very very happy. I'm very anxious and inquisitive now. So I'm turning to you, Frank. They have uh, given their own side of the story. How about your own region when he emerged uh, as the member representing Fredo, Ben the federal constituency? Was it the same feeling or was it different in that side? Yes, it was, it was quite a joyful mood. Then the people were quite in a joyful mood. Then we might see his seven people that Then he was. Hello, can you hear me? I haven't seen his anticipation when he was the chief chairman. We know he performed well. So, with that record, we said when he was the chief chairman, then the people were grateful that he will do good things. And more good things in them of the So we are happy. Okay, it's good to know that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very much with you trying to fix out some things here in the studio so we can uh, move ahead now. Now, three years down the line, I'm turning to you, the anchor man, because you came very early, Dennis. Uh, now, three years down the line and counting, uh, tell us how, how has it been? Uh, I mean, in terms of impact, has, has there been an a positive impact or a negative impact it's good to put it the other ways it's down to what you say now has things turned the corner or is it still the same thing uh, which may have uh, uh, put in bad light the rejoice uh, the amazingness of his emergence thank you uh, on that I will say a powerful positive change how do you mean what I mean is if uh, in three years somebody can do what he have done we should not also forget that there was a COVID period there was actually a COVID period that took away some of our time from us but then immediately after the COVID, we started seeing something from projects to bills to motions in the house powerful ones that affect even the list of the people in the community you see uh, the, the one that opened the floor of the house, the Mba ecological issue, is, all, is like 90% done. Yeah, if you go to Mba now, that bridge is, is being used right now. They are using that bridge. The old one have been condemned. Though it is not, it's not been tarred, but I think immediately after the rain, something like it will be tarred immediately after the rain. So the positivity is everywhere. Like you see, in my own place, I have a solar-powered borehole. It's not like it's the first time you've seen a borehole, but then you build the borehole for us and uh, there is no generator to pump the water. Or sometimes they will tell you the water ran for three months or six months and the water there is no more. Now it is solar-powered. You go there in the morning, you see water. You go there in the afternoon, you see water. You go there in the night, you see water. And good water at that. So, the positivity is powerful. We, the rejoicing we did when he won is not in vain. Thank it's you. not in vain. That's according to Dennis. I'm turning to Frank now, trying to alter the proceeding. Frank, uh, tell us, uh, has the positivity there continued? I mean, from the, his emergence, where you people were excited about and different passing, they called it the breath of fresh air. Tell us. Yes, we, the distant expectations has been high and we are still expecting more from him though. But we are positive about him because things about Honorable Benjamin Carlo is changed. He really changed several things in the federal constituency. Before, we were meant to believe that federal house members don't construct roads, they don't do projects, they only share slippers as souvenirs, Mage as empowerment. Mm -hmm crates of uh, bags of rice or one cup of rice as empowerment. But now, coming to my own community, 
we can see that federal house members can build roads and even assert it up to six kilometer roads, ten kilometer roads, five kilometer roads, all across Bende. Benjamin Carlo has only been in office for three years. We have more than 14 roads. I didn't say 14 kilometer roads, I said 14 roads. More than 14 roads in the map. That's a positive thing. And formally, we don't know about Bende, that Bende has a representative. But now, you can't go to the House of Representatives without hearing the name of Bende, Federal Constituency first. Bende was the first name mentioned in the House Ninth Assembly. Then the federal constituency was the first person to speak in the floor of the House of Representatives of Ninth Assembly. So that means that you are seeing something else. Check the first time I've been the spokesman of the House, we tell you that he was really prepared and Ben is being represented well in the floor of the chem- in Green Chambers. So all these things they are saying is true. If you go to Ben and ask about Honorable Ben, ask anybody, they will tell you that. That man, Benjamin Palu, really signify an eye-opener. Before, we were meant to believe that class of red members is only meant to speak English methods, which we don't even know the importance of the law they are making. We don't know. We don't see our House of Red members before, but now you can see our House of Red members. Okay, um, okay. House of Red members. That's change. Definitely, there are more questions to come and I will get more reactions from you. If you are just tuning in at this very moment, you did not come at the nick of time. You simply joined the course at the time which you were required to do. So it's Benjamin Carlos' mandate or Ben Carlos' mandate. It's that program where we get to interface with him and, uh, of course, uh, get activities around him, his constituency, and, of course, that of the parliament. However, this morning, we'll continue our journey of a litmus test where we get to ask questions to those who feel his impact directly and so we uh, handpicked at random youths from Bender federal constituency very much in the studios uh, i've been speaking to dennis uh, frank and of course chukwemeka chukwemeka now i'm turning to you uh, tell us let's go to the projects now uh, what are the projects that he has done that has had a direct impact on you and other youths of the community where you're coming from i want to be very specific about where you're coming from now Tell us. Okay, um, I my word is Itumbo's award in Bende, local government area. You know, I call Benjamin Carlo a leader of manifest. Yes, because before the advent of Benjamin Carlo, there is nothing like road, road construction in Itumbo. But when he came on board, he gave us road. Hmm? He gave us road. Man, can you mention any of those roads? Yeah, we consulted the uh, three kilometer roads in Itumbozo, you know, the, the one leading to the, the main Itumbozo um, um, area. Okay. Then he consulted the uh, uh, also uh, three three bedroom, uh, the three uh, classroom blocks in Morobibia in my place, and he also consulted the three classroom blocks in they were all in Itumbozo. As so you can see that we have been affected positively during this regime. So he, he came on board just within those three years. He has been able to touch the 13 words of Ben the Federal Constituency because we have 13 words that made up Ben the Federal Constituency. There is nowhere we will go in Ben the Federal Constituency in the words of Ben the Federal Constituency that you, can, that you will not see his handwork, his good works. Be it road, be it bridge, and, 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 and other things. And he has been there representing us effectively. When he rattles, you know, when he speaks, you know that Ben, the federal constituency, ben, the federal constituency is speaking. He has placed Ben, the federal constituency, in the map. So that is just it. And we want to have him more. We want him to be there again. Okay, l- let me turn to you now, uh, Dennis. Uh, uh, Given what Frank said, he said um, uh, he, he, most persons thought that as um, a member of a House of Representatives, all they do is much of speaking of English, grammar, and innuendos that goes alongside it. Is it the same case with you and where you're coming from? Has there been impact, uh, their direct impact on the youths, on your life, on your family, on your community? Tell us. Uh, thank you. Uh, the thing is, uh, it's not like the legislative activities is not what should be done. But you know, uh, uh, before you explain that to the people, the people want to see tangible something. You, you tell them the, this mirror was brought by Honorable Benjamin Carl. They want to feel it. Do you understand me? They, they want to see it. They mm. want to feel it. Okay. Now in my place, I also got a road just like them. And let me also add, Itumbuzo have 
one of the best healthcare okay, centers yes, yes, in the whole yes, of Bende. Yes. If you want to build a healthcare center, you should go and check that one before yes. you build it. Make a reference before you build. Do you, do you understand me? Now we have a road. We have our own health center that was dilapidated at 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 what tree should I say? Go there now. It's as wonderful as anything. You will not imagine that this was a Monato health center like if you were there in 2018 and coming back say today to check there you'll be amazed at what you see so directly it is affecting her. and then after the health center he gave out free drugs like and i now have to go to house to house from house to house telling them if you are sick mm. go to this health center don't i'm not saying you should not patronize the chemist people but then sometimes they get this one get this one mix it for you you come back tomorrow but it's a different there's a difference when you go to the health care centers they will check you they will give you say drugs if you are supposed to take this for three days they give it to you for three days they'll give you the drips you, you you have a bed rest and after that you go home and you'll be fine yeah there's a difference i don't know if you get me so some of these things we, we thought it's impossible you can just speak english he's doing wonderfully well in speaking as, as a matter of fact he has the highest number of pills in the whole of Abia state he has the highest number of votes at, as a first timer. He has the highest ha- number of uh, uh, bills uh, as the Impact, southeast yes. person. Yes. Okay, uh, let me turn to Frank now. Frank, um, from them it's overwhelming what they are saying. Uh, maybe you should tilt away from this, but then it, it has to be from you. What do you think uh, has his impact been there direct on you, on your community as a? U- How would you rate it? What has it done? Okay, so, so to to be frank with you, uh, we've Beca- met because you are frank. <laughs> because you are frank, yes. you want to be frank. Yes. Okay. We've not seen this type of presentation since the inception of democracy in Nigeria, in my own community. Presently, in my world, in Yemen, we constructed a solar powered borehole in Ogumugu. But precisely, it's there. It's tangible. You can see, feel and thoughts so you can verify it you know the movement yeah. we also constructed a library in a technical school and a quick piece library and a quick not building and leaving it like that to grow bushes we also renovated a classroom block in a technical school in fact we built a, 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 a guano a bridge in a we also constructed the a no bridge Present is 90% completed. There is also an ongoing 6.2 kilometer road in Mempa going on presently. Some parts have been asphalted now, as I'm talking. And are you still with us, Frank? We've lost connection with you. Okay. Secondly, secondly, in Akali Meni, Amoji Meni Road, there are we are doing a 2.3 kilometer road, which is presently going. What is going on this morning? It's almost 70, let me say 80% completed. Go and verify. These are verifiable things. Not, I'm not including the empo- youth empowerment that goes on every, almost oh, every month. Nice. Like two months ago, we also gave out, let me say two weeks ago, we also gave out grants, past grants to women and youth from my community with my present brother. Benefited. My brother benefited from the grant we attracted. Those things are what we see, and we say this person is represented. The highest is the top in the whole southeastern America. He's the top character. He's a time out. I'm not talking about he's a third timer, ten timer. He's a first timer that is top for a number of meaningful views that has impact in our community. Uh, okay, uh, towards, towards the tail end of your own uh, words there, we've been struggling to get a better audio, possibly because you are on the move. Perhaps you could just get a place, uh, make yourself stationary so we can get a better and effective audio from your end. Uh, we will take a little breather at this very moment. When we make a return, I'm going to turn to the guys, look them in the eye and ask them this question. Were you paid to sound this positive? Were you paid? Were you giving something with money exchange hands because of what you're
are saying this morning i mean our dear listeners are going to be asking uh, questions about how authentic what you have been saying are and it's going the onus will be on them to respond when we make everything after this very short break ben carlos mandate very much upon us stay with us thank you very much for staying with us they still flew 94.9 fm the flow of guts and state and the question is what have you been listening to it's ben carlos mandate it's that uh, weekly program where we get to uh, hear from the honorable representative of ben the federal constituency directly as the unveiled and rules out his activities uh, there at the Green Chambers and of course uh, what he does for his people, the people of uh, Bender Federal Constituency yes he's been evocative of everything he has done before now uh, but then uh, it's just good at some point that you get to ascertain the authenticity of what he has been saying and that's the reason we had to go bring uh, youth from his constituency to come talk to us um, I mean what he has done in the last couple of years has he lived up to billing has he lived up to expectations and all that and this morning I've been speaking with gentlemen uh, some are physical here two of them are very much uh, live in the studios and another person joining us virtually so they are palpable I can touch them and then they could equally feel me uh, I have Dennis Ego uh, Dennis of course is in the building thank you for staying with us thank you and of course, uh, Ihono Chukwemeka, you arrived in the studio? Yeah, thank you. I'm here. And then Frank Ibuchalam joins us uh, virtually. Frank, thank you for still staying there. Okay, sir. I think it's only wise I start from you already. So tell us, uh, how much were you giving to sound so positive? Just be frank, having said you would love to be frank. Sir, I, I will tell you actually that nothing was given to me to come and say this because nobody will not like to join something that is good. If he is not trying, I will be the first person to say that he is not doing it because I don't think that my the welfare of my constituency and the, the money somebody will give me to come and sing his praise is the same thing. I prioritize the welfare of my people than anything. So no money was given to me for this. I am speaking because I see that he is trying. He is doing good things in my community. As in all, my village people used to say, If you praise somebody that is doing, we will do more. So that's why I'm saying this. Boldly. Boldly. Nobody in my community that will say he doesn't know me. I'm not somebody that you can bribe. Okay. That's me. That is Frank, being frank enough. And then I'm going to turn to uh, Dennis now. Dennis, this is on head-to-head -head basis. Uh, so I'm turning to you now. Uh, if you go out there, th th there is this revolution amongst the youth. They want to stand for what is right. They feel they've been hard done by uh, leaders of our time who have sidelined us, put us in a corner. Uh, even as we speak, um, our undergraduates are, who are at home courtesy of some uh, lapses by the uh, ruling people those who call the shots there so tell us given the fact that you're a youth were you paid were you giving a peanut were you giving something to come and sing this praise on this very program try as much as possible to be frank man mm, and as much as my name is dennis i will very frank to be frank <laughs> now all right uh, i was not giving a dime i am saying this from what i've seen from what I can touch. If if the notice came early enough, I would have brought you printed pictures of things on ground. Or if you permit me, we can ask Flu FM to come and do something like review of the projects. The verification of projects. Do you understand me? Mm. So uh, you can you can pay somebody to lie, but you cannot pay somebody to say the truth. So I'm saying the truth from my own heart. I'm saying it as it is. So nobody gave me a dime. Chukwemeka, Frank and Dennis could have taken something and they are sounding this way. Won't you be distinguished? Uh, you know, I joined Benjamin Cowley during 2018 um, election. That's okay. 2018 to 19 election. Then uh, since then, I've been with him. Hmm. As a lover of good things, I saw him as a light. I saw that he is bright. And I joined him. And since then, it has been that is light that, that, that has been shining in Bende. So I was not paid a dime to support him. I, was, I wasn't paid a dime. I, and I wasn't paid a dime to come here and speed this. 
I am just saying the truth, and that is it. We say everything that we have said here, three of us have said here, this is how it is because we are being moved by community spirit. Okay, uh, the guys have given their testimony in that light, so we continue our conversation. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's look at uh, accessibility. Uh, how well is he um, relatable as youths of Benda Federal constituency? Does he identify with you people? Have you called on him uh, to say, come on, look at what we are looking at, look at what we want to do? Is he a, a youth kind of representative? I'll start with you. Dennis? All right. When it comes to accessibility... Can you, can you speak up a little bit? When it comes to accessibility, is uh, somebody you can always call on. Now, you should also understand he's a very busy person. Uh, speaking for a constituency as big as Bende, he's of course supposed to be very busy. Now, you, you call him, he doesn't take the call you can send the text you can whatsapp him he's always there like even in small small groups you create provided it's something about ben there the youth he will be there with you people and when it is time to make his say he will also do it like uh, uh, sometimes somebody will say ah, ah he's even here you understand now he's not the first person representing us there, there were people who are there and there are people who are still vying these people, you can't even assess them. All these small, small, you will not see them there. You, sometimes they'll send people to be responding on their behalf, but then they are not there. Uh, so so you're house, trying to say that he's always very prompt when you call on him. Exactly what I'm saying. Now in his house, his gate is always open, provided he's around. And uh, his house is not in a very hidden place. Like there's this thing they call obituaries, or he's just on the road. Like you cannot say, uh, where is his house? It's just there on the road and when he's around the door is open so you can call on him you can go see him it, it might take a while for you to see him but at least he, he will re receive you then you wait for your turn because as you are coming in others are coming in to see him then on calling on him maybe for a program there is something we need he might not respond immediately but then he will tell you so so so, so time make this plans with so so, so, so person i'll be there and once you've done that, you see him. You come, he speak with you. You know what the problem is, and he's a wonderful problem solver. That's another good thing with him. Even within within the group, the small group, there is a problem. You know there is a problem. Amongst you, you don't even know how to solve it. But then you go to him. This is what you want to do. Uh, but although there is a problem amongst us, he will first of all solve that problem before attending to that other thing why you actually want to see him. So that when okay. this comes in, it will come in in a peaceful place. Let me turn to Frank now. Frank, are you still with us? Hello? I'm still with you. Okay. Uh, can you describe him as a youthful uh, representative? Uh, can you say that he's youth friendly? Can you uh, say that he is somebody that you can identify with as a youth from Ben the Federal constituency? Uh, talking from my own angle, Honorable Benjamin Talu is always available whenever he is needed. Uh, let me tell you a few seconds story. Before I met Honorable Benjamin Talu was in 2019, October 1st, 2019, when he was giving a allowance to students. I, then I was still a student. I engaged in debate competition there. They said we should have a competition, debate. So I was the, one of the participants. The way I spoke, he said I should meet him after the event, that he has something to tell me. He encouraged me to put more effort, that I'm good. He asked me what I'm studying, then I told him. That's to tell you that he encourages the youth when he feels that you are being great. See you. Every, let me say, every four months, he always organized a meeting with his constituents. Interesting. Every act of Friday, end of every three months, he organized a prayer meeting with his constituents. No matter whether you are PDP, APP, PPC, DDD, he always told everybody to have meeting. Then he has another grand one in every 29th of December, where he also 
Staying with you, Frank, not to take words away yeah. from you, but but just to ask a follow-up question. Are you trying to say he's a non-partisan kind of politician who doesn't look at the party you, you are affiliated to when he's trying to be um, kind or benevolent or doing his business? My brother, the road he's constructing in my in my community is not only his party men that are going to pass through it. The health center in Kemani Tumbozo is not only APC members that will go there. The, all these classroom blocks and Bender is it only APC student that is going to the school. All those empowerment he is doing, the grant go. Even Governor Ipaso, former information commissioner in other states, said it themselves that Honorable Benjamin Carlo is a unifier. He doesn't support in particulars. He sees beyond particulars. He believes that we are brothers before politics. That's his own slogan. That's his own path and lifestyle. So when uh, Benjamin Kali even sit and eat with his drivers, I have seen that in 29th. I see him eating and sitting with his drivers, discussing. That's the kind of politician we need. Not those people that will always be in their high horses. That you you will only see them during campaign is not what we are yearning for. We do you need somebody like Honorable Benjamin Carlo who sits and hears as and perceives our own the smell from our mouth. He knows what we need and what we want. Who sits with us this course? That's the kind of person we want. The person that we believe that we are one, different class, or whether you are representing me or I'm representing you, we see everybody as one. Let me use something as an example. One day, there was one of his critics in PDP in my own constituency. One day, we had an issue in a school in his community. They don't have tears. Do you know that he called on Honorable Benjamin yes. that day? The, same, the next day, there was tears in the whole community. The man used his mouth and said that he has never seen a man like this man. The same man called on Honorable Benjamin Carlo regarding his sister that that is disabled. Honorable Benjamin Carlo, the next day, gave his sister away to That's the kind of thing we want. Not somebody okay. that will, because you criticize him, today, okay. he will not give you what you ask. That's the kind of person we want. We've had that's uh, Frank speaking there, Frank Ibuchulam, but I'm turning to Chukwemeka now. You have something to add in that regard. Yes, um, in general, I'm not limited to Ben the federal constituency. Uh, Benjamin Carlo is a youth oriented leader. Whenever he's back, whenever he comes back, the youth of Bende always go to his place to marry with him. He will call them, he will talk to them. Anyone that has problem, he will solve it. He's a problem solver. His gates are always open for the youth to come and see him at any time. Just like my brother said, it can take time, a few as in, as in a few a few time, but you must surely see him and he must surely attend to you and solve your problem. So he's the he's a youth oriented leader. Now let's talk about um, um, his chances of making a return there. There are some other persons who are in the mix. Uh, uh, who, who Okay, Jen and OKJ is in the mix. There are other veterans as long as that very position is concerned. And you people have uh, been vociferous about the fact that he's a first timer as long as going to the Green Chambers is concerned. What are his chances of making a return? Can he go there given the fact that uh, the, 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 the contest is going to be keen? It's going to be very, very close. I'll start from Dennis. Oh, okay. Uh, when it comes to. Do you see him making a return? Yes, a big yes, uh, and I'll give reasons for that. Uh, okay, I'm very much interested to hear. Uh, let, let's let's assume, like uh, you are giving uh, you are giving a thousand naira, for example, and uh, you need a bulb in your house. Now, you have given this one thousand naira and used it for something else, and somebody came and gave you a bulb. Uh -oh. Because this is exactly what you need at that particular time. You would prefer that person that gave you a to somebody who have given you money okay. that could not solve that problem. Now, uh, there is all these projects. I'm not saying he's going back on his legislative activities. And he's not going back on his legislative 
and activities. He's not going back and communicating with his people. Now, when you have this and you have somebody who will give you peanuts and after the election, you wait for another four years for another peanut. I think you prefer the person who is always there and doing the things you need. So, when it comes to voting now, I will vote him and my people will. Reason being that we've seen this one and we've seen the other one. Uh, uh, some of them was asking questions, uh, did he do these things before he became a rep member? The, the answer is actually no, but then he was doing something before he became a rep member. This 29th December uh, 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 town hall meeting he does have been there for like 19 years. Yes. If not, you've just been in the house for three years and you've done something before the three years. So what have these people done before trying to come to contest? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying now? So for me, he's going there till 2027. Let me come to Frank now. Frank, um, you've had Dennis. I want to get your own. Uh, in, comparing what he's done in three years to what the like seven and UKJ did before now, does he stand a chance to make a return to the attempt uh, House of Assem National House of Assembly? Frank, are you there? Uh, my brother, to tell you, yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. To tell you the truth, uh, most of these people are contesting because they are in a democratic system of government. They allow everybody to put a party I did mean we are in a position to just tell one person to come out. I don't think then the people have anything to do with these people coming out because we've tested on the freedom style and we trusted him. And all, everybody in Benza, even the people that cannot see, even the opposition are telling you that Benjamin Carlo has power. My brother, let me ask you, do you tell your first 11 that is really a game for you to put people that you know that we tell? No, now, Nana has been there for 12 years. We tested her and seen what she can do. Then, and we tested her with Benjamin Carlo in three years. When you compare them, you see them, they are incomparable. And Reverend Benjamin Carlo is better. Then, coming to the pressure, who just came back and think that ben, ben there can be brought over? You know that uh, we, see, we say, give us your slate. That's what we are in this era. It's so what you've done in your personal life. So what you've done in your social life. To tell the truth, when Reverend Benjamin Carlo started with humanitarian work, doing great things in Bende, even 20 years ago. These persons that are talking don't have any contact. They don't have anything to tell you. We don't need somebody that will tell you. Are we? Okay. We need um, somebody that will tell you, I've done this. I've done this. See what I have done. That's what we need in Bende. So, to my own side, Honorable Benjamin Carly is on the phone. Well, that's that, what my community said. Those are the thoughts of Frank Ibu Chulam there. Uh, at this moment, let's open up the phone lines and get to hear from our listeners. They have contributions, perhaps they have questions to ask uh, the guest here in the studio. It's that very moment. The phone lines has been buzzing before now. 08081826949. You can send a message to 90 I'm sure that Chukwemeka wants to say something. I will give him the opportunity to do that. But then let's turn to our phone lines and hear from them. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. It's, Man of the house. it's good to hear from you this morning. Yes, it's a regular utility caller. I can say that I'm calling from them. The land of the blessed land of God. All right, go ahead. I feel fair is doing what Benjamin has done in Ben Day. I think you are hearing me. In Ben Day, local government, even the Ben Day, where them boy Benjamin and Carlo go to Amor Guru, going to the Guru, the Benjamin has already done the road. Go to Abenmin Stroke, Ben Day Grammar School, the road has already finished. From uh, from uh, Abenmin go to Umore, not anywhere in Bende. Bende Benjamin have already do many things. He's giving palette young boys and young youth. He's doing a, a lot of job in Bende local government. He's doing a day 
40 times, 40 times, we are going to support Benjamin Ikalo Otabri Bende. Only can you be one of Bende? Okay. That is my own. Thank you. My Very name, much. Thank you. I... Land of food, the blessed land of God. Thank you. Uh, let's continue to take the reactions of our listeners. Good morning. Hello, who is it? Good to hear from Hello, you. Baba Gunners. Baba Gunners. I want to take this uh, immediate of uh, one day the people. As this man, they are present him and they do well for them. The problem we have with this our side, side is the uh, material culture. Let the people, do, this man has done what it is, the better method, all whatever we have done, giving them. And God will continue to bless him. I, I, I the promise me of something. I uh, wanted to hear from him, but he's not in the region now. The result of our inner space in the West Coast, we talk to the head of state or the president. So look into our website. Thank you. He's a good man. And my own side here, you know, they're not seeing nothing. Nothing. Okay. Thank and you. That's why the best uh, time is to open their, 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 their leading agenda. All these people are representing us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Attack all of them Don't one attack one. anybody. Baba Gunners, don't attack anybody. If you mean attacking them via constructive criticism, well accepted. Good morning. Good morning. Thank I'm you for calling from whom I have. Thank you for joining us. Tell us your name and location. My, uh, my name is Victor Amobi. I'm calling from whom I have. Go ahead, Amobi. All right, please. The people, they are complaining that from PDP, they are always calling in the radio. Those PDP people, the road is enjoying now in the operating is built by Ben, the Ben, the Ben, the Ben, Before, if you come out from Olenia, they will carry, they will carry cops from their head to their place. But now the road is enjoying in Olenia, and they are now in Ben, the 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 it's built by Ben Carlo. So nobody is compared with that Ben Carlo. But upon all the road that Ben built to him, it's always praising PDP, PDP, PDP. Thank you so very much. I, I, I am so very, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your comment. I'm sure uh, you, oh, I'm related, you did not mention any name whatsoever. Let's continue to take reactions. Good morning. Good morning, my dear. Brother of sister in the studio. Uh, if you want to, I also greet you, my good friend. My name is Josiah Kalo. I call him from Ibere. Go ahead, Josiah. But, uh, I don't want to join issues with uh, the, the gentlemen in the studio because I know them very well. They are the uh, PA student in Kalo. What they should focus on, or what they should focus on now, is to is to arrange how they will win election. Because this 2023 election is not a, a game of, a, a, it's not a, 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 a boy's play. It's a man-to-man -man game. Mena, when you come about, about Mena Ukeje, people that supported Mena Ukeje during his own time, I will tell you what Mena Ukeje did. People that supported Mena Ukeje, even now we tell you that Ben is not performed more than Mena Ukeje during his own time. Talking about uh, China that just came out from, from, from problem. He had been fighting over this thing for a long time because he had a problem. Nobody should criticize anybody, and nobody should underrate anybody. When they are what are the let them focus on how to how to make sure they win the election. Because if you go to all these communities we have in Benin, we see people that are complaining that they have never visited them, they have never attracted any project to them. Or the, or the ones he attracted, he, he did it on or he, 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 he said, make it, make use of it, not to the people he, he attracted the thing to. Thank you very much. I'm sure they heard you clearly. It is still Ben Carlos Monday turn on flu 94.9 FM, the flow of guts and states still taking your reactions and trying to walk you through. We've been talking to some gentlemen from Ben the Federal constituency this morning, and that is in the light or in the wake of uh, um, that three years down the line. Um, has he actually lived up to expectations? Has his impact been felt across the Ben the Federal uh, constituency? We'll make a return after this very short break. Stay with us.
Okay, at this very point, we are going to be ramping up. This is the final lap of the program this morning. It's still Ben Carlos Monday. It's on Flow 94.9 FM. The Flow of Godson State comes to you every week. Uh, by this time, actually, 11.30. And we've been speaking to some gentlemen in the studio about the activities of the Honorable Representative of that very constituency, Benjamin Okezio Carlo, of course, representing uh, the Bender Federal uh, constituency at the ninth Nigeria National Assembly. Um, I'm going to get their reactions because time is ticking away from us, so we have to uh, start uh, wrapping up things now. Let me look at uh, uh, Facebook and check if there are comments there and bring the same to the fore. But then let me get uh, um, uh, Chukwemeka's reaction quickly. Chukwemeka, you had wanted to say something this while. Yeah, you, you know, the reward for every good work is more work. The Benjamin Carlo is a proven leader. He has proven that a House of Remember can construct road, that a House of Remember can do some other things that people don't know that they can do. If you come to Bend his word now, he has constructed the maternity in Abotong Bend. He also constructed a one kilometer road in Oboroni, that is in Bend too. He constructed the Ndiokuruku road, Abomiri road, Amogu road. He mounted street lights in Bend community. He consulted solar mini grid in Bende helicopter that will give Bende light for 25 years. 25 years uninterrupted light. He has also renovated the Abamzo Hall. That is his hall where he comes from. He consulted uh, this uh, immigration service center in Bende. Uh, in Bende. Yes. Yes, he also consulted uh, an ICC center in Bende Grammar School. You see, the reward for every good work, the reward for all these works in Bende North and in Bende South is to go back so we are sending him back and he must go back okay uh, that's uh, the words of um, Chukwemeka there I'm looking at the comments on Facebook this one is coming from uh, Abraham Augustine he says good morning for from and Banda Youths uh, we the people of the Tumbos I would like to add our voice to the numerous achievements of Honorable Benjamin Kalu to a Tumbozo today. Tumbozo can boast of an ultra modern primary health care hospital ready for commissioning. The, rev That's true. the revolution in the uh, ongoing bandit Tumbozo road is due partly to Honorable Benjamin. We can account for numerous bus rewards to our students. Several classroom blocks with modern chairs and tables. The list continues, but I have to cut it short there. This one is from Chisco Nadi. It says, We love Honorable Benjamin Carlo. For most, as I say, um, <coughs> Benjamin Kalo is the type of representative we need. He's doing fine as a youth. Let him cross over to Labour Party where... <laughs> okay, that is <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> Gentlemen, let me sincerely appreciate you for coming on uh, Ben Kalo's mandate this morning here on Flow 94.9 FM. Thank you very much, uh, Dennis thank Egu. You. I hope I got the name rightly so this time. Yes. Thank you very much, Frank A. Butchalam, for joining us. You are there virtually. And thank you very much, Ihonu Chukwameka. Time okay, is not our friend you. and we have to obey that cost of time. Thank you once again, gentlemen. Thank, thank you. And thank you, everyone who joined us uh, virtually. Um, Frank there. Thank you, everyone who called us via the phone lines and those who followed through on Facebook, dropping your comments there. This will definitely make a return. Same time, same station. Come next week. Until then, continue to listen to Flow 94.9 FM, the flow of God's own state. God bless you and bye-bye for now.